Five simple rules, but they're not so simple. Because maybe you're a gambler. Maybe you're not taking this seriously. Have you ever considered that? Well, let's take a look at this. I like pictures. Do you guys like pictures? Don't gamble your way to profits, it says, okay? So today, we're going to give you five rules that have helped me become a profitable day trader who's, who took a lot, of, a lot of licks and realized he was gambling for a bit, you know, um, and a lot of losses. And I had to learn from those losses. Learning how to trade can be an upwards trajectory to profit. But when you look at this, do you want to gamble or do you want to take this seriously? Right? Do you want to make a living from this? Is this one of your goals? Do you want to break away from that nine to five? Are you trying to get free from the system? Well, let's stop trading, treating trading like gambling and let's treat it like a business. So I got five rules for you. I've written down just off the top of my head because these are clearly defined in my head. Okay. So we can see Bitcoin get in a massive push. You feeling the FOMO? Do you feel like just pressing the long button right now? Okay. Right? So what do we have? First and foremost, don't trade blind. Don't trade blind, okay? It's gambling. It's not a casino, okay? Until I have a defined plan, until I have some sort of parameters, some sort of idea of how I want to execute my trade, am I entering a trade? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. I have to go and do some TA. I have to know what the sentiment is. I have to have a good understanding. And we do this every morning at 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So join us in the free, free Discord and on the live stream in the morning. We're here every morning, okay? However, however, don't trade blind. Have a plan. Have key areas. We go over this over and over every morning to have these key areas of interest where we're looking for trades, where we're looking for price to go to, where we can make a decision whether to enter with probabilities in our favor so it's not gambling. Number two, define target and stop loss. Okay, so this morning, I took a short. It was given in advance, and I took it right from the top here. Beautiful, 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 okay? Beautiful, beautiful. Bang, I got out halfway here because guess what? I didn't feel like it was okay, and I knew that I was going to go out this, this afternoon. So I knew that I was going out. I had limited time. Guess what? I got in. I got out. Profits, paid myself, went on with my day, okay? Intraday trader, I know how I trade, but I had a clearly defined target, which was down here, but I also had a clearly defined stop. And guess what? Number three, probably the most important, respect your damn stop loss, okay? I'm not here to yell at you. I'm here to encourage you guys. I'm here to encourage discipline. I, I want you guys to succeed. Respect your stop loss. If you've put it here, keep it here. Don't add to your trade at your stop loss, you know, and make your entry like here, okay? Because you're just going to lose more, okay? You're going to lose more. Clearly define stop loss. Where are you wrong, okay? And it's okay to be wrong. Being wrong correctly, learning how to lose correctly is going to make you profitable. I guarantee you that. I guarantee you that. Number four, treat this like a business, okay? So if you're, if you're in a business, you know, and you have these clearly defined areas where you're looking for price to move and you want to you wanna jump into trades, are you going to just throw your money down the drain or are you going to try and the, find the best product possible for your customers? Are you going to try to give yourself the best opportunity for you to be successful? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. So being patient and treating it like a business, practicing good risk. If you're a business, are you taking massive risk all the time? As traders, we do take lots of risks, okay? But we have to have the probabilities in our corner. If we have them in our corner, we can be more successful, okay? And number five, okay? Learn from losses. It's your education you're paying for. Like we said when we started here, your trajectory can be like this. They talk about the hockey stick in trading, okay? There's a hockey stick. You draw your hockey stick. I'm Canadian, so I can draw a hockey stick. I'm allowed to, okay? Um, so it can be like this, or it can be like this. What do you prefer, okay? What do we prefer? We want a smooth incline with good risk, long-term game, okay? Long-term game. And when I lose, I'm checking out why I lost. Oh, maybe I FOMO'd in there. Maybe I didn't have a good enough stop loss. Maybe my risk to reward ratio was too high. Maybe I should have given myself just a tiny bit more breathing room that would have worked out. Okay, by looking at your analysis and how you can get better and improve, 
this will help you move forward, okay? So I'm just trying to share some of the things that I've implemented in my trading journey that have helped me be successful. If you like this type of con content, drop a comment down below. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Much love to every single one of you guys. Thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.